Welcome to Toy Polloi. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy and it's time for another how to make a replacement vinyl cape video as they seem to be very popular and I keep getting asked to make more of them. So here in front of me I have a sand person or Tuscan Raider however you want to call it from uh, Star Wars. Now this is a vintage original one here in my collection and this has an original cape as you can see made out of a nice sort of beige vinyl but I have others in my collection like this poor chap here who doesn't have any weapon or any cape so today we're going to make a cape for him. Now the first thing is actually finding the material I've shown you how to make the capes many times before but finding a material that is a, a good enough match in colour and quality uh, is the bit that takes the time and for the uh, sand person here I've had a good search around and the best I've found is this and it is a swim ring shaped like a donut. Now you can buy these in various sizes. I've actually bought the smallest one because uh, you don't really need much of it. It looks like there isn't much uh, beige but the bottom side of uh, the swim ring is the right colour. So if you just open this up and I will take out the swim ring. You can see it's got the nice sort of uh, patterns section on the front but if we look at the underside you'll see that this is a nice sort of sandy colour. Now it's not a perfect match but it really is the best I could find. I've been searching for quite a while to find something that uh, matches the sand person cape uh, and everything's been a bit too yellow. This is still a little bit yellow but I think by the time it's on the figure it's not going to look too bad so we're going to use this as our basis for the material. So to make the cape we obviously need a pattern so what I do is I take the cape off my original figure scan that in on a flatbed scanner and take that image into Photoshop and trace around it to create a pattern which can then be printed out and will be available from toyploy.com. So once it's printed out you end up with this which is a nice exact copy of the cape uh, and this is what we're going to use to uh, create uh, the new cape from. To stick the cape onto the vinyl what we're going to use is some uh, double sided tape uh, just to hold everything in place so what we'll do is turn this pattern over uh, and then I'm going to cut a few strips of uh, the double sided tape like so just cut a few strips and stick them along the lines that you can see through the printout there. Uh, we only need a little bit of this because this is really just to hold it in place on the vinyl uh, so I'm just going to stick a couple of bits on like that uh, and then we can cut this out so I'll just quickly do that it really doesn't take very long at all And there we're left with the uh, new pattern that we can use. We need a section of uh, the blow up uh, toy. I will just try and pick an area that's fairly flat uh, because some of it's been sort of wrinkled in the packaging. So I just want to cut out an area that is uh, sort of reasonably flat. Uh, it, sh it should ease off over time the sort of wrinkles on it but we might as well start off with a, as flat an area as we can. I'll just cut that out. Okay, and we don't need uh, the brown part so we can just cut that off. Now the inside of this vinyl toy is sort of got a nice matte finish to it and the outside has a shiny finish uh, so we can have a different look to uh, each figure if we want to. Now we're ready to stick the guide onto the bit of vinyl so I'll just take off the two backing bits of the double sided tape uh, and obviously this uh, double sided tape is very sticky so what I like to do is just sort of remove some of the stickiness from uh, this uh, double sided tape by just sticking it onto my trousers or another bit of fabric just to get a bit of sort of fluff and uh, dirt on the stickiness. Uh, you can see there it's got a little bit of sort of uh, fluff on it uh, that makes it not quite so sticky so we can now stick this on the bit of vinyl uh, and we'll cut around that to make the cape shape. Now before we remove the pattern we need to cut the holes and I have myself here a single hole punch. Previously I was using a double hole punch but I picked this up in Japan for all of 100 yen. It's proving to be a very useful hole punch so we can just slide that over 
line it up with the little mark that I put on there and punch away. And there we go, we've got a perfect hole for the arms. Do the same on the other side, like that. Now we can remove the pattern and because we reduce the stickiness of the double sided tape, it should come off quite easily. Like so. No, it's still a little bit too sticky there. There we go. And we have a nice replacement cape there for a sand pattern. So let's get that on the figure and see what it looks like. So to put the cape on, I'd like to fold the arms back because that seems to be the easiest way to get them on. Push the hands through the holes and we can then pull that cape on. Uh, and the f you can either fold the collar down or leave it up. I like to leave them up on these uh, sand person uh, figures. And there we go. That looks like a pretty good replacement cape. As you can see, the colour is slightly off. It's a little bit lighter, this one, than the original. I'm hoping in the future to be able to find a slightly more beige coloured uh, vinyl. But uh, for the moment, this sort of sandy yellow actually looks quite nice. It actually matches the colour of the figure a lot better than the uh, original cape does. So it's a pretty nice finish there. So I hope that video has been of interest to you. Uh, you can find the file for this uh, cape on toyploy.com and if you'd like to help out toyploy then please check out my patreon page and thanks for watching thanks for watching toy Poloy. subscribe for more great videos